show you another technique. You can use the shim blade as well, but I'm gonna show you another technique using just a standard set of needlepoint tweezers, which Edson sells too. So what you can do is you use just the standard tip that comes with it, just like we removed this package, and you just heat up your site um, one side at a time. And again, we're still using the same air pressure of six. And I'm just going in here, heating up the area. And once I see the solder start to reflow, and then you wanna go in circles around it once you get it reflowed. And you'll start to see it just move slightly. And you get your tweezers on there and then you remove it. So the next technique I'm gonna show you, we're actually gonna take from our uh, series of dual flow tips. Let me just show you this, it's really nice. It's a tip that is pinched in the middle, so the air is only coming out of the two slots there. And so you can pick your size. We have different sizes from larger to medium to small. We even have smaller than this for, depending on the size package that you have. For this particular application, we're gonna remove this SMD and we're gonna use this dual flow tip. So first I'll show you how to change your tip on your unit. We're just gonna lock that in. And you can do this hot. We have a little tool that also comes in your uh, little kit with every hot air station. So you just take this and you unscrew the tip that uh, came with it. Quite easy. And then we just uh, screw this one back in. Do this quick if it's hot. And that's it. So now what we'll do is we're going to remove one of the packages. We'll pick this one right here. And we'll remove this one using a dual flow tip. So I picked the appropriate size, as you can see. So how I usually judge it is that the flow on the outside matches perfectly with the leads. And then as you can see, the interior, there's no air coming out, just air comes out the sides. And because of the restricted air, what I usually do is I turn up the pressure on the air. Uh, we're gonna go from six to about 10. And uh, that will help us reflow that solder a little bit easier. So what you do is you just take your soldering tool and you just move it over top the component and you'll start to see the solder reflowing. See there, it just moved. And when you see that, we'll just come over with our little pen back here, the LP200. And we'll just pick that up. 